Okay, so let's get started with some graph terminology. First of all, let's cover what I don't mean when I say graph here. So you might be thinking of when you plot a function, f of x, versus the inputs of that function, x. Or you could be thinking of a bar chart, for example. And both of these are not what I mean by graph here. So to tell you what I do mean by a graph, I'm going to have to break out the terminology machine gun, where I just fire a lot of terms at you all at once. And this is pretty much the only way to do it. I just have to give you all this terminology right away so that we can cover the relevant concepts right afterwards. So please just bear with me while I do that. This is a graph. And these are the nodes in the graph. The circles are the nodes or vertices. The edges are the connections between them. And this specific kind of a graph is called an undirected graph. That's in contrast to a directed graph where these edges actually have direction to them. They're arrows. And directed graphs will be what we're working with in this course. A lot of ancestry-themed terminology is used in graphs. So for example, in this directed graph, A is the parent of its child B. So a parent is any node that has an edge going out of it, and then the child is the corresponding node that has that edge going into it. Then we say that two nodes are adjacent if they are connected by an edge. So A and B are adjacent here. And they're not adjacent if they're not connected by an edge. So A and D are not adjacent in this graph. We say that there is a path between two nodes in a graph if there is a sequence of edges that connect those nodes. So A to C to D is one path, but it can also be A to C to B. Paths don't need to go in the direction of the edges. Both of those are examples of paths, but then there are directed paths, which do need to go in the direction of the edges. So A to C to B is not a directed path, whereas A to C to D is a directed path because it follows only directed edges. And more ancestor terminology. So if A is the ancestor that we're interested in, all of his descendants are nodes that can be reached from A in directed paths. So B can be reached from A if you just follow the A to B edge. Same, similarly with D if you follow the A to C and then C to D edge. So all of those are descendants of A. If we add this directed edge D to B, then we have a cycle. In this course, we'll almost exclusively be looking at graphs without cycles. So those are called directed acyclic graphs or DAG for short. In this graph, A and B are parents of their shared child, C, and A and B are connected parents here. But if we were to move this connection between A and B, then we would end up with what's known as an immorality. So you have immorality when you have two parents that have a child together, but these parents are not connected. And in case you're wondering, that is real terminology in graphs. That's not something that I made up.